Okay, uh, let's get started. Let me share my screen. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, um, sorry for the um, delay. Uh, welcome to a live event organized by the training team of the European Network of eTwinning Ambassadors. Our webinar tonight aims at presenting the new twin space, its features, and their use in an eTwinning project. Uh, before starting, uh, let us uh, introduce ourselves. I am uh, Natalia Didi. I'm, uh, I teach English in a primary school in Athens, Greece. I am an e-tweener. I've been an e-tweener since 2005, and um, I've been an e-tweening ambassador since 2015. Uh, Sophia, would you um, care to turn on your microphone and your camera and introduce yourself? Hello, dear all. My name is Sofia Kuzuli. I am an English teacher in a primary school in Greece. I have been an e-tweener since uh, 2010. I have been an e-tweening ambassador for the past two years. I am an enthusiastic e-tweener and I really believe in this, uh, in the, the value of these uh, projects. Um, thank you all for coming, uh, for joining us tonight and I hope all we can all uh, uh, gain something from our uh, from this session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia. Uh, let me tell you a few things about the procedure. The webinar is divided into two parts. Each part, uh, in each part, three twin space features are described. After the presentation, the presenter answers your questions. You can type your questions in the chat box as you watch the presentation. We keep track of the questions in the chat box, so either Sophia or I will answer them. After each presentation, you are given a simple short task to do and practice a selected twin space feature. Uh, you post your work on the Padlet, uh, on the Padlet wall. I've already um, posted the, uh, the link in the chat box. At the end, Please spend two minutes on evaluating the webinar as a whole using the, the poll provided in the chat box as well. We'll um, uh, also post it later on. We'll edit in the chat box uh, at the end of the webinar as well. Um, the Twin Space. The Twin Space is a dedicated virtual workspace and is available for each e-training project. The Twin Space is the project safe platform where you, the teachers, and the students work together. Users can access their project twin space from uh, project profiles in eTwinning Live or from the eTwinning portal. Uh, that's for the teachers by clicking on the Erasmus Plus button on the top left of the screen. Uh, the user is taken to uh, the Erasmus Plus website where he or she can find information about um, Erasmus Plus projects. The home page of the Twin Space is a hub of information and uh, projects updates coming both from users and the uh, Twin Space activities, uh, which are automatically recorded by the system. Uh, on top left, uh, on top left, you can see shortcuts to other areas of the platform. From any page in the Twin Space, this button on the top bar allows you to jump to the other areas of the platform. 
Uh, here you can find, uh, uh, you, you can uh, jump to the eTwinning portal, eTwinning Live, or uh, your uh, pay, the page where your groups are, or the page where your twin spaces are. And uh, the LL stands for the Learning Labs, where you can find all your active learning events. And uh, next to it, there is the drop down menu of the eTweeners open projects uh, and closed projects, sorry, all for all the eTweeners projects. Um, then there is the language of the interface. The platform gives the eTweener the possibility to change the language of the interface. Uh, below the, uh, the language, you can find the word support, which uh, where you can find guidelines and uh, um, backup uh, back for, uh, uh, information about the um, twin space. And after that, next to support, there are three icons: uh, the profile, notifications, and twin mail, twin mail icons. By clicking on your profile photo or the avatar that you may use as your profile photo, uh, you come to this page, which is what the other members of the projects uh, of your project see about you. And if they want to, they can leave a message for you on your wall on the right. This page is different from your profile in eTwinning Live, as it's only visible to your project members. The profile is unique for all the twin spaces. There is just one for all the twin spaces the user is a member of. Uh, your profile should be complete with text and image. Uh, you, you can also, below your profile, you can see um, your twin spaces. You can see a button which if you click it, you go to your active and close twin spaces. Uh, then uh, below that there is this blue button which is, uh, gives you the possibility to edit your profile. And finally the green button, notification settings, you, uh, if you click on it, the, um, you can edit the notifications sent to you by the system. Once in your profile, click on edit profile and uh, you can um, edit your profile. You see a section. Uh, to update your image and add text. Remember to prompt your students to update their profile, adding a text about themselves and an image, preferably an avatar, even if you have parents' consent for photos. Students can update their profiles and use to communicate with their peers in the project. The email address you can see here in your profile is the one you have submitted in eTwinning Live. If you wish to change it, you need to go to the eTwinning Live platform and edit your account there. Nobody can see your email address but you. It's needed here because it is connected to the notification system. Uh, back to the profile page, click, click on the green button to modify your notification settings. From this page, users can decide which notifications they want to receive and via which means, that is either through the TwinSpace Notification Center or through their private email addresses. Notifications sent via email will be collected in a digest email sent daily. If you make any changes, click on Save so that the changes are saved. Uh, click on the question mark whenever you are in doubt, either here or in any other page of the TwinSpace. Um, Questions, uh, question marks stand for information and they're very helpful. Uh, twin mail, uh, that's uh, the twin space messaging system. It functions in the same way as the messaging system in eTwinning Live. You have one twin mailbox for all your twin spaces, which means that you can send messages to all the members of all the twin spaces that you're a member of from the same interface. Now that we have uh, covered the upper part of the home page, let's move downwards to the crossed screwdriver and wrench. These tool icons stands for twin space settings. By clicking on the tools, we can customize a twin space. 
in the settings page, we can change the project logo, the project name, the description of the project, and the twin space theme. That is the colors of the twin space. There are just three available options. There isn't much of a choice there. If you wish to change the name of the project, you should do it here, but also edit the project title on the project page of your eTwinning Live account. Uh, access on uh, from the uh, home page, you can access the teacher bulletin. If you're a membership type of teacher or teacher administrator, you can use the teacher bulletin to add notes that only other teacher members can see. Teacher administrators can delete any post. Any teacher can post, but only teacher administrators can delete them. On this page, users have access to the project journal as well. The project journal is visible to everybody with a link to the twin space. It's visible uh, by default. So make sure what you upload there, uh, that is everything is uh, abiding to the rules of e-safety. Users can here view uh, what other uh, project members have uploaded, can comment or like posts from project, mem project members and the like, um, uh, the fact that now that we can uh, like a post is uh, something new on the new twin space. And I consider it one of the positive new additions. Uh, the home page also follow, uh, also shows the, uh, the actions users carried out in the twin space. They are, um, sorry, they are automatically generated by the system. Such information is uh, displayed by clicking on system or filtered out by clicking on user. Uh, on the home page, the user can also access the instant messenger from the online members box. And the instant messenger is not, is not appropriate to hold a discussion on. You can use it to arrange an appointment to meet in the chat, for example. But it's not for a long discussions uh, because the material, because your discussions cannot be recorded there. Uh, from the, from the, the home page, you can also join the chat room, organize an online meeting, or create a thread in one of the forums right here directly. Um, we are done with the home page, and now we can move on to the pages. The pages consist the main bulk of our project. Public pages allow us to promote and make the results of our projects visible online beyond the project itself. They should be designed and arranged in a user-friendly way. And this is what we can see now. Uh, pages may include content in the form of text, images, or videos, uh, a twin board, which is an interactive board where you can post text, images, or embed videos. A poll, uh, which is, uh, we can use it to survey opinions about project members' uh, thoughts on a particular issue or an attempt to find the most suitable time to plan a meeting. Uh, you are going to be uh, um, presented the poll uh, tool in the forums by Sophia. Uh, she's going to uh, provide you with more information on that. At the bottom of the content frame, there is the possibility to end a discussion, which is visible in the forum and remains visible in the forum uh, after you, you may delete the discussion in the page. All these tools, the, the content discussion, twin board po uh, poll, are independent, and you can move them around by using the ed, um, by clicking on editing, and I'm um, sorry, by clicking on Enable Sorting, which you can see at the bottom of the slide. Um, under the Pages menu, there is a button that reads Create a Page. Sorry, uh, no. Um, now, uh, when you uh, create a page, sorry, you can see, you have to decide whether uh, who's going to see this page, who's going to be able to access it, and who's going to be able to edit the page. Who can see a page is an important issue. Uh, a page is a draft uh, by default, 
we can make it visible to Twinsmith members, but we have to think twice before making it public for everyone to see in the inter on the internet. Search engine engines do not have access anyway. Whoever wishes to take a look at our twin space needs the link to it. So we need to be very careful when we make a page public, both in terms of copyright and e-safety. In the latter case, in case of e-safety, if you are uploading pictures of colleagues or parents or children, you need first to get approval from colleagues and parents, of course, and from parents and or guardians for the children. Um, who uh, can edit a page? Um, you can choose among teacher administrators, uh, teachers, pupil administrators, and pupils. Although, as an A-Tweener, I believe we should grant editing rights to the other project members, there is always the risk uh, of uh, losing content when there are many editors of the pages. So there you need to be a manager quite uh, on your own. Um, okay, uh, at the, um, the two pens, there are, um, so the two pens at the top right, uh, you can see two pens at the top right, you can use them for editing. Uh, click on the one above if you wish to edit the page title or archive the page, uh, or the one below to add content or remove content from the page. Uh, you cannot delete a page com completely. If you do not want a page to appear in your twin space, you can archive it by editing the page and clicking on the bin next to the title. Uh, if you have archived a page by accident and you are an administrator, because only teacher administrators can do that, you click on archive and navigate to archived pages, find the page you want to reinstate, click on edit, and then on the arrow on the top right. In the pop-up, uh, uh, select yes to the question, are you sure you want to restore this page? Uh, embedding Web 2.0 tools, um, that's, um, uh, that, that's a different situation now in the new twin space. For Padlet, ThinkLeak, Prezi, SlideShare, Calamio, uh, Issue, Genially, Dot Storming, we use the embed code, but uh, Padlet, ThinkLink, and um, issue can also be embedded using just the uh, the URL source. Uh, for uh, learning app, Story Jumper, Doodle, Google Spreadsheet, and or Google Doc, use the URL and edit in the source box. Uh, I can um, um, give you a demonstration in uh, in a minute. Um, for Lino you, or, and some other uh, tools like Lino, you should use a screenshot and the link icon. Uh, materials, the, there are um, three types of files you can upload here. Images, videos and documents such as docs, PDFs, etc. Uh, an image can be up to two megabyte, uh, megabytes maximum. Uh, you will see two main sections, albums or folders, uh, and images, these are files, uh, where you can add an image. Uh, when you want to add an image, you either drag, uh, you drag it into the images section, or click on the button, um, drag image here, to select from your desktop, uh, from your desktop or your device. Uh, delete sort or edit the images by hovering above them you will see three icons delete sort edit and you can choose what you want to do uh, videos um, click on the icon add video and insert the url of the video you want to upload you choose videos only from daily motion vimeo and youtube uh, documents can be up to 20 megabytes uh, maximum. There is a multitude of files allowed to be uploaded, but if the file you want to upload is not allowed, then you should compress it as a zip or R file. These file types are accepted. Um, for practice, I'm going to ask you to uh, post a comment and an image on the project journal of the test uh, of the test West Twin Space. Uh, it's the same uh, twin space that you're going to use for uh, Sophia's tasks. 
uh, you take a screenshot and post it on the Padlet wall, adding task one and your name. Uh, let me uh, stop the presentation and go on sharing my uh, screen uh, to uh, show you how we can do that. Uh, let's say I'm, I use my test to in space. Uh, sorry for that. Okay. So you're in the project journal and you want to add um, an image, add new post right there as soon as you get on your twin space. Uh, you click on this icon here, which reads images. Uh, here you can uh, add an image from the, um, uh, from the image section, or you can click an image and drag and browse your computer and upload another, uh, no, so this one, and upload a, a photo, an image from your computer. It's as simple as that. Uh, it has been uploaded. It needs some time. Yes, because now there are many things going on. Uh, so I attach it, I write a short text. You are going to upload just one picture. Uh, write a text, write text, okay? And then you click on post. You can click on preview and get a look at it, or, or you can post it as the editor, as the person who has created the post. You have the, you can edit it or delete it or pin it. So it's at the bar, at the top of all the uh, posts in the project journal. And the new thing about it is that you can click on like, and this changes the number of stars down here. Um, let me check with uh, Sophia. So let me check the, uh, the, the, the chat box first, okay. Uh, I, Marisa, uh, I suppose that you need clarification on the embed code. I can uh, do it right now, but let me see that everything is okay. Um, uh, Sophia, I think that you are a presenter anyway. Uh, if you are not, as uh, soon as I finish with the uh, with embedding tools, I'll uh, stop sharing my screen and you'll be presented, but I think that you are I have made you presenter anyway. So when you want to embed tools, uh, here I have a couple of uh, tools that I have em embedded. Um, what you need to do, uh, for example, for Ginny and Lee, uh, let's take this. Uh, that this particular page is visible to anyone with a link. I let it in the chat box as soon as we're finished. And uh, here you can see uh, what uh, um, uh, tools we can embed just using the URL. So it is Genially and Google Forms, Issue, um, uh, ThingLink, uh, Padlet. Padlet can be uh, embedded using two different ways, with the embed code down here and with the URL up there. Uh, treasure, uh, no, this is Story Jumper with the embed code, Yacht Storming with the embed code, and uh, Prezi with the embed code as well. Let me show you just the Gini and Lee. Uh, this is the, um, the link to the Gini and Lee, and I want to embed it in this particular page. So I have clicked on the pen. Now I click on the pen below so, I, so that I can edit the content. And uh, let's say that I'm here. Uh, I use this icon here for the iframe. I add the source. I remember to delete HTTPS and the two dots and start with the two slashes. Uh, and then I also have to change, uh, to, to, to give some, um, uh, uh, the, the size of, uh, in terms of width and height. I preferably use this, 500 and 400. Okay. Uh, 
sorry, this is a Padlet. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. I cancel, cancel. Sorry, I needed to have copied this one. It was the Padlet. Sorry for that. Sorry, Sophia, for the um, delay. I'll be done in a jiffy. So, source. Let's take it to the beginning. Uh, HTTPS and the two flats. You start with the slash width 500 by 4. You may change that depending on what you want to do. Uh, you can see the iframe here. Submit. Actually, the genially should be here twice. You follow the same procedure for the rest of the tools that you can find here. Um, I'm adding the link to the chat box for everybody to have access to this particular uh, page so that you can uh, see it later on. And uh, Sophia, stop sharing, the floor is yours. And uh, sorry if you're not presenter, maybe something changed while I was uh, presenting. Uh, Sophia, sorry for that. Okay, your presenter. Um. Yeah, I'm going to turn off my mic. Uh, um, Natalia, you can, we can uh, uh, go on from the um, uh, from the point we uh, you stopped. Uh, um, okay, just a second. Hello, Alina. Um, you can um, as long as it takes to uh, for the presentation again to upload. I would like you to tell you that you can uh, uh, visit the Padlet and upload a few things about yourself and um, uh, where you can see your usernames and uh, passwords. And um, uh, and uh, where uh, and you can find your passwords and usernames to uh, uh, to do the these little uh, tasks, these short tasks that uh, uh, Natalia and I will ask you. Um, sorry, Natalia, I'm afraid uh, it takes some time to. Uh, okay. Oh, great. Thank you, Natalia. Thanks for helping, helping out here. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to another very uh, important uh, tool that uh, we have on our twin space, and this is the forum, which is an important communication tool, and uh, it offers uh, teachers, all of us, a great opportunity uh, to use a structured task so that our learners can interact with each other uh, and members can take part in a synchronous or asynchronous uh, online discussion. Uh, and they can express their opinion about their topic. They can, uh, and it is not easy for our learners to, to talk, to, to start expressing their opinions. So this is a good way to encourage collaboration, to practice writing. Uh, yes, very useful for the students. You are so right, Donica. And it is an alternate method to motivate our students uh, to participate. 
uh, on the foreign on the forum page we can see a description of what the forum page includes so uh, we can see the discussions that have been started the latest threads uh, that have been used and our forum posts uh, so it's an easy way to navigate and see what goes on in this page uh, in order to create a forum discussion uh, first of all we have to remember uh, Great, you know, it's a great way to to uh, to help our students develop practice, develop writing, and generally the democratic culture of uh, discussing. Uh, so we can start a discussion by clicking on the create a discussion page. I'm so sorry for the. Um, you cannot see very well the, uh, what we what is written on the slides, but I will tell you all about it. So we first of all we have to name the topic. That means the idea, the question, and the concept, all the concept we would like the participants to discuss. Then we have to write a few things about it in the message box that is under the word name and submit it there. Uh, then uh, we can use a, um, sorry, I'm so sorry, can you, uh, then uh, after we have started the discussion, we have to create a thread. In order to add a thread on the, fo uh, in order for our learners to reply to this discussion, we can go to the main forum page, we can click the name of one of the forum discussions, for example, here uh, you can uh, click on the a collection of videos on the twin space, and then we can click on the create a thread button on the right of the page. Um, then it is very important to type a thread title in the thread title box, and then a few things about it uh, in the message box. Uh, we can add a picture, a video, or a file, uh, which we will take from the material section, or we can add a link. Um, it is a good thing that we can click the preview button to check if the post comes out as we want it, otherwise we, we can change it and make it uh, look better. Uh, if we want our, uh, to reply to this forum thread, then we have to click the name on the name of the, the forum discussions and then click on the thread of the discussion. Uh, while viewing the thread there on the top of our page, uh, we can type the post in the reply thread and uh, under the message. Again, we can preview our answer and check it and then submit it. We can also subscribe to the discussion um, yes, yeah, we, uh, it's a good idea to have a, a feedback after that, you're so right. We can also subscribe to the discussion and then we get a notification whenever, when there is an answer, uh, a reply to our thread. Uh, the good thing in the new Twin Space is that we can add a poll to the thread. So we click on the create a thread and then we click on the add a poll to this thread, which we will see on the left of our page, of the page. Again, we have to provide a name for the thread, add a short introductory sentence, a short description. Uh, so that we um, so that we can all uh, know what this is about, and then we can add the question uh, of the poll. We can add the answers. We can add as many uh, the answers that we want, and again we can check what it looks like and submit the poll. For example, it should look once we have voted, it should look like that. Uh, so we have to remember that in order to use the forum, we and we have to start a forum discussion that incorporates reciprocation. It is yes, I know how much they like uh, to post just to write a short sentence, Alina, and uh, contribute to the forum. So the, the important thing is that we have to use uh, something as a, in the beginning, something that will generate communication between students and and something that will, uh, a sentence that will require our students to post a reply to the, to their student, to their fellow students, so that we keep this, the conversation moving. 
very important in order to it is to familiarize our, our students with the forum because first of all most of our students are not familiar with answering uh, and, and writing and uh, thinking of a whole sentence they, they just use uh, abbreviations or uh, short something very short as a reply so it is a good thing to provide instructions on how to navigate forums or threads and how to post a reply and it is a good thing to bring the forum in the classroom uh, for example read some of the answers that have been posted in the forum in the classroom uh, or even uh, do a, a forum session in the ICT lab where students can post their uh, replies in the forum there so uh, we can use the forum pedagogically and take advantage of the of its values uh, so we can move on and we go to the uh, live to the online meetings and where we have very important tools for synchronous communication so we have the chat rooms the chat room where members can join a live discussion and they can have their online meetings there um, so they can enter the chat room and communicate and this is very um, this is very nice because teachers can download and export the chat history if you see there at the end of the bottom of the page it says download the chat history and there you just click on the button and export the log history you have to start to set the start and end date because um, yes thank you Natalia uh, I, I think uh, if, if you could do it it would be uh, better yes for everyone to see so it would be it is very important to set a date and a time so that we know what things will be exported there and uh, um, so that uh, because we can use this information first of all as pedagogically in order to assess our students see what their contribution is and um, check their uh, Answers. Uh, thank you so much, Natalia. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's so much better now for everyone. Sorry, sorry, dear all, for uh, this uh, um, uh, for this inconvenience for you. Thank you so much, Natalia. Uh, so uh, teachers can download uh, uh, there and use it pedagogically, as we said, uh, because we. There, thank you so much. Uh, we can set, set the start and end date. Uh, so we can use this uh, for um, for many reasons. First of all, assess the contribution of all the members because, for example, we can see what they have written there and uh, use it in the classroom. And another important reason is that we can foster the courtesy and respect expected in a group conversation. We are all teachers uh, and uh, we don't only teach uh, um, language or uh, the, our, um, the material of our lesson, but we, we help our learners develop, hello, we help our learners develop their, their social skills, their cognitive skills, their uh, interpersonal skills. So I think this is a, a great opportunity to help them, to help them develop their courtesy and the respect that they should show when they are in a group conversation. And we can move on to the next uh, slide and see that they can also so, um, uh, hello, Anna, and we can see that they can also uh, have a, a conversation, an instant collaboration with one-to-one -one messages. Uh, they are, all our students love this part. Most of you must have experienced the, um, all this, uh, the, our students, when they log into TwinSpace and in their TwinSpace, they all start uh, to see who is online and uh, exchange um, uh, messages. So, but we can also um, uh, use this tool pedagogically in our classroom. And to tell you the truth, even if we don't use it pedagogically, they all feel nice when they exchange uh, short messages there. And let's move on to the next slide and um, 
uh, then uh, we can also organize an online meeting. Uh, it is important to remember that we have to book a time slot there and uh, just before the starting time, the enter room button will become visible and we have to remember that presenters can share their computer screen uh, and show a presentation or a document and that participants can communicate with audio and video or just use the chat box like we do, Marisa, now. Uh, moving on to the next slide, we can see that um, uh, when we are uh, on the live event, this is the information that we have to fill in uh, and then select the time that is appropriate and once we have submitted it, we can see it on, the, on our uh, Twin Space page there in the upcoming events uh, so that we have it there and uh, remember it. Um, moving on to the next uh, uh, slide, we can see See that uh, uh, the live event session is booked and organized there. It cannot be recorded like we do here. Uh, and the live event cannot be accessed with accounts of pupils. So uh, when we are in our classroom, uh, we have to use a big screen like the ones you see, um, a projector, an overhead projector, and they can see uh, so that all our students can see the um, <laughs> Some uh, can see the, the, uh, their uh, students, their, their fellow students. I know it is sometimes difficult, poor connection, but even if we, we connect for some mo moments, everyone is, I think the students are happy. Uh, so I think we should use this opportunity that uh, Twin Space uh, offers us because it is very important and it can help us. Um, so we can see it in the um, Yes, sometimes it is difficult to adjust the timetables, you're right, but as Natalia said in the beginning, when we organize our Twin Space pages, we can uh, use the, a page where to, um, or with a tool, a specific tool that we can arrange the, uh, the best time. So on the next slide, you can see that uh, the upcoming events, in the upcoming events, you can see the, um, if we go on Natalia to the next slide, uh, we can see the, the upcoming events or uh, what the events have taken place, um, what has, uh, has already been finished and we can have some information about it that can help us uh, remember it and use it for uh, our uh, reflection and evaluation in the end. Oh, Marisa, uh, we can uh, we have done it, uh, and you know I work in a primary school, and we have used chat in uh, with our classes, and they love it. Yes, Monica, they they really love it, as long as it is something short and uh, something that uh, can have an instant uh, reply. Uh, so moving on to the next part, to the members, we know that there is a, in the members section, uh, we can see all members of the Twin Space, the teachers, the students, the guests. We can also have a look of the online members. Um, we can search for a member if we don't rem just with the first name and then we can filter it and, and see it. Uh, we can change a member type, delete a member or reset a pupil password. We can invite new members and uh, the very good, uh, we have this very good opportunity to send messages to all members of this, uh, of the twin space, of the particular twin space. So let's see now uh, separately the, what we can do with uh, the tools that we have in the members page. In the, uh, the administrators can invite members to the Nutrient Space. We can add teachers, pupils and visitors. As we can see on the left uh, of the screen, we can export a pupils list with their usernames. Remember, very important, 
it is that for safety reasons, uh, pupils' passwords can no longer be exported and downloaded. So keep this in mind and save a draft of your uh, of the passwords on your computer. But even if you haven't saved their passwords, you can always reset their passwords. Remember that passwords uh, can be reset only by the teachers who invited these pupils. And uh, let's uh, moving on to the next slide. We can see that from this page, we can uh, moving on to the next slide. We can see. Uh, that we can change the member's user permissions. Uh, we can find a member and select uh, 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 and select from the drop-down menu, Natalia, uh, on the previous slide. Uh, you can we can select the um, their role and uh, change it to teacher administrator, teacher or pupil administrator or visitors. Uh, we have to remember that uh, uh, the each role has specific permissions, so uh, keep this in mind when you uh, assign permissions and why not assign pupil administrators, make our, our pupils administrators, especially uh, the ones that we see that are more engaged or have more um, um, ability, let's say, better ability in navigating in the twin space, they will feel very proud and I think this will make the whole class more confident on their skills. Uh, on the next slide now, you can see that uh, uh, the other, uh, or that we can delete members and contact the members of our choice. There is a, a small box on the left of every, uh, on the upper hand corner of every pupil. There we can choose the members we want and then press the button that says contact and we can send them some a message for a specific task or wishes or anything we want. And again from this page we can check out their profile page. Their profile page. Um, now um, we remember that we can, on the next slide, we can invite teachers. Um, remember that teachers from uh, uh, countries that are covered by e-twinning, e we should uh, invite them in e-twinning live. Otherwise, from other countries, we can invite them from here and uh, they can take part, for example, from the United States or from other countries. We can also uh, invite guests and uh, provide a username from them, verify them and a password and they uh, are in. And as far as pupils are concerned, on the next slide, uh, we can uh, check them if they check if they are already registered and um, you can see this on the slide in a, in a moment, on the next slide. Uh, we can check if they are already registered check their name or username, click on verify and uh, they are in. Otherwise, we can invite new students, set a password and again invite them. Remember that we have to get a parental and guardian concerned to invite pupils and uh, to take and upload pictures of them. Very important and um, we have to be very uh, careful with that. Uh, so that's all from uh, for the members uh, section and now in our short, uh, th this is the short task. Uh, Natalia, you can um, uh, take the floor again. Uh, we, uh, in the second task, uh, you can find your um, password and usernames in the Padlet. I have uploaded uh, passwords and usernames for uh, uh, some of you. For the ones that aren't, I can, I will uh, provide passwords in a moment and you can find them there. Uh, log in the TwinSpace, find the forum discussion, a collection of videos on TwinSpace, post a reply to the forum thread videos, upload a video and add a few words about it and take part in the poll. Um, 
Uh, so that's all from uh, for the uh, the rest uh, for the other parts of the twin space. Uh, lots of new things in our twin space, and I think interaction and collaboration uh, is so much more developed, uh, and uh, students can get more engaged. Natalia, you can take the floor again if you want, and. Uh, if there are any questions, I will try to uh, check the chat and answer. Thank you very much, Sophia. I think you have answered the questions uh, as you were uh, proceeding with the, uh, the presentation. But if there are more questions, feel free to add them in the chat box. Uh, Marisa asks uh, about uh, using uh, chats. Uh, for uh, young uh, learners, I have added in the uh, chat box that particularly with the fifth and sixth graders, for um, in other words, for 10 and 11 year olds, uh, chat works quite well. And at the beginning, you can use it in class uh, under your supervision. Uh, the, the, the children can chat with their uh, international partners. And if you see that they can do it well, then they can arrange uh, chat dates with their international partners and have these uh, chats at home if, uh, uh, if their parents allow them to use the computer at home or whatever. I, I think it's a lot more creative to use the chat uh, tool instead of uh, playing an online game. Um, can we have the link to the... Thank you very much, Marisa. And uh, the link to the, um, to the Padlet. Just a minute, I'm adding it right now. Okay. And uh, for the record, I should say that you've been doing quite a uh, good job here on the Padlet wall. I can see many photos. Um, I hope the, uh, the tasks are easy for you. They are. They just need a bit of time. Here it is. Thank you, Maria. I hope you, uh, you could actually hear me because I've noticed afterwards that uh, you, you couldn't hear me. I wasn't loud enough. Uh, uh, your um, link, the link to the Padlet is right above your name. Um, is that the link that you're looking for? And the link to the Twin Space. Okay, the link to the Twin Space for to uh, where you can see um, the link to the Twin Space to Sophia's Twin Space. I think you mean. Yes, Natalia, it is on the Padlet. You will see it on the top of the. Um, it's the on the top. It says usernames and passwords for practice, uh, and then you can see the link and uh, passwords and usernames and some more passwords and uh, usernames for uh, people who came. Um, uh, who came in during the, the session and so the, uh, we cannot see their name but they can find a password and a username there to use. Yeah, thank you very much Sophia. Your, the, the link to the Twin Space is also added here in the chat box. Um, I'll check the the, uh, the chat to see whether there are any new questions, and I will also need to add the uh, the link to the poly. Um, uh, Sophia has prepared for you to tell us what you think of the new uh, Twin Space features. <coughs> uh, you are welcome, Concepcion. Okay. So if there are any questions, feel free to ask them now. Sophia uh, is getting the poly, I assume. Yeah. Uh, there is a problem whenever I uh, try to do a uh, um, paste something in the chat, uh, it will it uh, um, I, I can't. So if you can uh, add it. No problem. Yes. Thank you so I much. It's also at the top of the chat. 
historian case. Give me some time. You can find it. It's at the top of the chat box here. Okay, I'm adding it right now. So tell us what you think of the new twin space features. Thank you very much, Dita. Uh, if there are any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, there are some people that may have problems with the new web, uh, with the, the new uh, way we follow to embed web 2.0 tools. Uh, although I think that now it, it is a lot easier than before um, because we can either do it with a URL code, with a URL, or even better, we can use we can use the embed code, and uh, we just get it in the content. And we just have to uh, click on the um, um, on the edit um, uh, icon, that little pen on the top. Uh, we have to do it twice so that the uh, the tool is embedded. Maybe you would like me show that. Uh, Rita, do you have a question? you write it in the chat box or is it something else um, maybe you would like me to show you how we can embed a web tool using the embed code or, or not which is the easier and quickest way to put a video in a project um, Okay, uh, you can use um, you, you can use the URL code of the uh, video on YouTube. Uh, there is no quickest way; it's the safe, quick way to uh, to embed it. Uh, yeah, with embed code, you can do it. You can do it with your URL as well. Um, with a URL, you add it in the uh, videos folder. In the video section of the materials. Okay, uh, thank you, Barbara. Uh, Angela, yeah, let me share my screen for the last time <laughs> and um, let me show you. Uh, this is my twin space, the test twin space. Uh, I've already sent you, I've already edited the, uh, the link to this page in the chat box it's public so everybody can see it and um, one of the tools that we can uh, uh, embed using the pa uh, using the embed code is the padlet uh, for example this one here uh, this is the padlet all that you've been working on uh, you can use the link and edit the way I showed you before, uh, omitting HTTPS and the two dots and starting with the two, sla with the two slashes, uh, or you can embed it using the embed code. This is the same procedure that you can use for most Web 2.0 tools. You find the embed code, you copy it, and then you move to the page up here, you click on the pen, and then you click on the pen uh, uh, that uh, affects editing the content. Okay, I'm going to put it up here. It, it, it's very simple. You have copied the, um, uh, the embed code, you edit here, and then you uh, go 
down, you scroll down, you click submit. Okay, and it seems disastrous. No, but this is not the end. You should click on the uh, pen once more. Things have got into, uh, uh, have become a bit better because now there's the frame and you need to click and submit for a second time. This time things have worked out. And this is what you should do with most uh, Web 2.0 tools. Um, are there any questions about this that I can... Uh, okay, I'm glad, Angela. Uh, if you have any other questions uh, regarding tools, uh, web tools or twin space tools, Thank you very much. I uh, hope you have clicked on the poly and told us what you think of the new features. Um, Sophie, okay, some of you have. Thank you very much for it. Uh, Sophia, do you, we, uh, uh, can't we see them? No, okay. I think maybe we can. Yes. Okay, we can see the participants, but we can't see the answers, maybe because I haven't clicked on it to answer them myself. Uh, so I, I, I suppose I need to stop sharing take a look at the chat. Uh, Sophia, feel free to intervene whenever you feel like to. Uh, I, uh, you have presenter rights. Yeah, you can intervene whenever you like. Maya, hello Maya. We're gonna meet on Thursday. We are having another webinar with Maya on Wednesday about web tools. Uh, uh, just if you if you if uh, so just I can uh, I, uh, just tell you you can uh, when you are in the poly then new suggestion and uh, uh, under the poly you will see the new suggestion part and where you can write your suggestion there and then your name for example I have written the forum you can see uh, I have written the forum you can uh, Check it. Let me share again the the link again to see. Uh, I will try to copy the link again. No, there. You you enter the news under the um, the forum. You can under you will see new suggestion, and there you can add your own suggestion. Can you? Uh... And there is a question. Uh, maybe Sophia, you could share your screen. No, I, I, um, I can't. I don't know what's uh, what's the problem tonight with my computer. I, I can't. I'm afraid I can't. But. Um, Okay, uh, so you can, the new suggestion there, and uh, under the, uh, the part new suggestion, you can write your own ideas and uh, your name. Uh, uh, Natalia, can you share your screen? I think it is visible. I have tried it before. Mm, yes, thank you. Uh, it, but, uh, okay, I'll do it in a minute. Uh, Donica, she said that she wants to read books and she, her favorite is Book Creator. I just checked it. It's an app, Donica. Maybe that is why we can't um, embed it in the Twin Space. Maybe what you do with the Book Creator, you should upload it on a Padlet or something like that so that it's visible. Uh, I'll, I promise I'll check it again. Maybe there is something that I don't know in another way to embed uh, apps in the twin space. 
So, uh, Danica, I, I make a note of your name and I'll get back to you as soon as I find... Janur, can you, can you check now? I think there is, um, um, there is this... Uh, you, you can add your answer. So, Sophia, I'm sharing my screen. Yes, there. Uh, that, that was it, Natalia. That was it. Yes. Okay. Yes, I see some answers there. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There aren't many answers. That is, there have been people. Yes, but I'm afraid there. Um. The poly, but they haven't answered. That is why I couldn't see any answers. Mm -hmm. But they can, uh, good, you know, you can add your own answer there and the rest of the groups or for the, uh, the problem with the, um, uh, uh, the, the suggestions. There was a problem, there wa it wasn't turned on, but now it is on, so you can add your own suggestion there. Um, uh, if, if there are any questions, uh, uh, the twin board, yes. <laughs> That's so nice. Yes, yeah, I agree with you. It, you it's like uh, the Padlet and we can add so many things there. Um, so if there are any other questions or at any time, you can see the we have our emails, you have our emails and you can uh, uh, send us uh, feedback or uh, any questions you have. Okay. <laughs> okay, here they are. That's nice. Great. So you can contact us and uh, you can find us on eTwinning Live as well. Yes, definitely. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I hope you um, you found useful information in our presentation. But in any case, feel free to uh, to contact us. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank you as well uh, for your presence tonight. Um, on uh, Thursday, as you have already uh, heard, probably Maya and I are uh, um, show, are going to show you uh, one of the tuners that are willing to log in. Um, we're going to show you um, web tools, uh, design cap, and um, power books. So feel free to join us. It's going to be at six o'clock um, Central European time. So thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us on eTwinning Live or. And they can also find the links to the um, uh, Poly and to the Twin Space if they want to practice uh, on the Padlet. Okay, so uh, it will be there uh, if they want to uh, write their answer on the Poly after the session. Marisa, you can add the, your suggestions on the poly now. Thank you all.